Yo, 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 what's up with you people, man? It's your boy Retro Rob coming to y'all with yet another episode of Battle Chess. How y'all doing, man? Um, this is part three of the Cassidy versus Goods upcoming showdown. Um, I have a high amount of people asking me, Retro Rob, when is this battle going down? And my answer to you is, I don't know for certain, but I can tell you that Smack himself has been on record saying that definitely is going down after banned Legacy. Now, he has born Legacy, uh, who I believe... Uh, what I believe has already passed and I think he's on part two of Ban Legacy so he said Born Legacy Ban Legacy and then he's going to give the people the goods in Cassidy battle so he said that will be in February which is right now um, we are winding down in February uh, which means we're going into March so I'm looking Cassidy and goods probably late March or early to mid April late March which is around my birthday or early to mid April people you feel me this came from smack himself he said he's gonna do the born legacy and then he's gonna do ban legacy and after that He's going to do he's going to do the cast and the goods. Now, let's get into my third breakdown because I did the first one. I did the second one. And for those of you who haven't seen those, go check them out. Some good content in there. Great great content in there, by the way. Um Now, uh I hear a lot of people out there, man. I hear my subscribers, shout out to my subscribers that love this battle stuff, man. I hear y'all out there, people. People are now saying the hustler has taken has taken the cake as far as who they think might pull this thing out. Shoot, a lot of people out there feel like he's gonna pretty much body bag goods. Ah, uh, I wouldn't go that far. You see what I'm saying? I wouldn't go that far. And um, part of me wants as much as I want to. Say Cassidy will win this. I just can't, people. I want you all to understand me, man. I just can't. I want to give it to Cassidy, man. I came up. You understand me? I came up. You feel me? Uh, Cassidy right hand man, Jay. You know, which is which is the big homie. He said, man, little bro, watch the battle. Cass, I got some stuff, boy. And I know Cavs got some stuff. Cavs always got some stuff. But would he be able to show off his stuff in the big leagues? See, Cassidy, see, see, Cassidy is the GOAT. Nevertheless, he's definitely the GOAT. You feel me? He definitely one of the people, one of the uh main pioneers that started this whole, even before Smack. I was there. I was there, but at the end of the day, people, yeah, I'm going back to that disaster battle. I'm going back to that. I'm going back to that. Um, let's say that was that was that was just a let me get my feet wet, just a little, you know, not shaking off rust, knocking off rust. You know, we all have. If you uh, have uh, been a participant in any type of sports, you know, whatever, basketball, boxing, football, baseball, whatever. You know that if you haven't done it in a while, and you know you you half ass good at it, you know you gotta knock out the kinks, knock off the rust. You feel me? I just stepped back on the basketball court. You feel me? Oh yeah, your boy Retro Rob Hoop, man. Step back on the basketball court. I ain't did it in a minute, but I'm I'm, I'm feeling that touch again. But it's about Cassidy right now. You know it ain't about me. So with that being said. I'm still, I'm still, I know, I know, people, I know. Cassidy, this is one of those things with Cassidy. I'm still going with goods. 
Cassidy has to make me a believer, and I want him to. Trust, trust and believe me when I say this, people. You know, I know it's a lot of clowns and stuff that come on my channel and be like, oh, you just, you want goods. And when you, first of all, I'm not a goods fan. Not a goods fan. Me, I like punchers. Goods is not a puncher. He could do it pretty decent, but he's not a puncher. You see what I'm saying? Cassidy is a puncher. You feel me? I feel like Cassidy before the accident was something to be reckoned with. I still feel like Cassidy is something to be reckoned with. But uh, at this particular point, to me with Cassidy, I'm going to tell you. I ain't going to beat around the bush with it. I'm going to tell you. With Cassidy, is it that Cassidy that's going to come that I know is good? That I know is the best and what he do with this battle stuff. You feel me? The best I've ever heard. The best that ever did it and got away with it. You feel me? Still getting away with it now because he about to go in there and get a bag. And he ain't even been active like the rest of them. But they got to realize, you see what I'm saying? He's the reason why a lot of y'all doing it. And a lot of them have been on record stating they ain't even got to be on record because I've heard a lot of their lines. I've heard, you see what I'm saying, Arsenal. And I've heard some Cassidy in there in the beginning of his career. I've heard Hollow the Dawn. And I've heard some Cassidy in there. I've heard, what's his name? Um, what's the boy name? The other one that's on Conceited. That's on Wild and Out. And I've heard some Cassidy in there. You see what I'm saying? So I know that Cassidy is, is a pioneer in this game. And he's the reason why a lot of people. Uh, Tech 9 has been on record saying that. Uh, the only reason why he do it, he looked at Cassie and decided this is what he wanted to do. You feel me? So nobody is questioning. Nobody is questioning Cassidy. What we're questioning is, is it one of those things that you was that dude back then? And in your mind, you think you're still that guy? Is it that, I call it the uh, Jay Mills effect. You see what I'm saying? Where you feel like you're still that guy in your mind. But in reality, you know, that's passe. You're not that person anymore. That's where the fear at lies. Especially, people say, well, a lot of people, I caught a lot of flack from saying Goods would beat Disaster. He's better than Disaster. Um, I didn't mean to say that, but I think I kind of corrected myself in that video. But if I didn't, um, anybody can beat anybody on any given day. It's just a ma it's just a all about timing. Everything is about timing, and I feel like this is perfect timing for Cassidy. You see what I'm saying? And I feel like this is a this is a now reason why I give would give Cassidy a chance in this battle, not because he's better than Goods. You see what I'm saying? Not because he's better than Goods. He although a lot of you may believe he's he's a lot better than Goods. You see what I'm saying? Not because he's better than Goods at this point in time. Because I feel like Cassidy is very, very uh, witty. He's very smart. He's very clever. Uh, remember how he took Disaster's style, did Disaster's whole style, and that pretty much took away Disaster's... That was a secret weapon. It took it took away uh, it disarmed disaster. I put it that way. It disarmed him, and it pretty much made him. You see, what I'm saying a non-factor in the rest of the battle, and he just swagged on disaster. He beat disaster. That's why we say it wasn't too much of what Cassidy did do, is what disaster didn't do, and what Cass was able to do as far as disarming disaster of his uh, strengths. You feel what I'm saying? Um, which I feel like Cassidy is going to do against Goods. You know, it's going to be a recurrent thing. He's going to do it to Goods. He's going to take away Goods' styling and profiling and, you know, talking about how much more money he got than Cassidy and talking about how much money he got, more money he got than people, you know, and just uh, just basically out-styling people and out-profiling people. You can't do that versus Cassidy. You see what I'm saying? So, I just want to see what Goods got cooking. Um, Goods is definitely, 
he definitely got some tricks in his bags too, man. Goods can Joan. Goods is funny. I know we gonna talk about Cassidy uh, being having all these years and not really becoming a, a, a mainstream star. You see what I'm saying? I know we gonna talk about the transgender. I know we gonna probably talk about that. Some people say Goods got a trick up his sleeve. Some people say Goods might might end up bringing a transgender to the battle. You see what I'm saying? He got something something of that nature up his sleeve. You feel me? If he do that, boy, you know, this is why you got to go. A lot of my, a couple of my subscribers say they're going to get this battle, man. Um, I'm, I'm probably going to get it as well, man. Me and my homeboy is going to be in here having, man, an all time in this joint, boy. Because I know, I know Goods got some slick stuff, man. Because he feel like, you know, uh, he feel like Cassidy is coming on his turf after he feel like he's been putting in all the work. And Cassidy's just coming in. And, and, and taking all his shine, but he got to realize who helped build the foundation, man. A lot of people don't want to believe that. Um, but I just am afraid of the Jay Mills effect with Cassidy coming in, all his bars outdated. You see what I'm saying? He got some nice material, some up to date material, and the rest of it is just, you know, way back in the early 2000s, early to mid 2000s. You see what I'm saying? Um, also, like I told you, I personally feel like this is my personal opinion. I know a lot of people will get mad when I say this, but um, the URL crowd, to me, is the most biased crowd, especially, specifically when they're in um, New York. Um, they love those New York fans, love who they love. You see what I'm saying? Like if Cassidy, I can imagine if Cassidy was to battle somebody like Lux. If he was to battle somebody like Hollow, you see what I'm saying? Like, he had pretty much, you know, Cassidy would have to come with something we ain't never heard before. Um, in this battle, I feel like he can kind of take the blueprint from what he did versus Disaster and bring it on in his goods uh, battle, but bring his bars up to another level. Bring his pin game, period, up to another level. Because Goods is not a slouch, man. Um, I know a lot of people that, you know, there's a lot of people out there that feel that, you know, I'm, I'm kind of sleeping on Cassidy. It ain't that I'm sleeping on Cassidy. Those same people that feel like I'm sleeping on Cassidy, I feel like y'all sleeping on Goods. You see what I'm saying? I feel like y'all definitely sleeping on Goods. You know, I'm not sleeping on Cassidy. Everybody, Cassidy is a household name for God's sakes. Cassidy is one of the goats. He's a legend. So you can never sleep on Cassidy. But at the end of the day, is the question with Cassidy, just to clarify with people is, is Cass in, you know, a little too in over his head? Is he, does he has the J-Mill effect? And what I mean by that is, you know, in his mind, do we still think he that dude, but in reality, he's not that dude anymore? Or is Cassidy still that dude? That's the big question. And we will we, only be able to find out. You see what I'm saying? When Smack schedules schedules the battle. Um, we all know what Goods bring to the table. But is Goods going to come with something extra for Cassidy? Because he's going to have to come with something extra. Because we know that coming with that styling and profiling and trying to be you know, out style people and try to show off, you know, show out better than people. That's not going to work against Cassidy. So Goods is going to have to probably step his pin game up. He's probably going to have to get more clever, more crafty. You see what I'm saying? Uh, we'll see, man. It makes for an interesting showdown. But this is my third. Hope you enjoyed. This is my third and my final prediction. But um, as I stated at the beginning of the video, for those of you, my subscribers and people that watch this and new subscribers, um, I don't normally uh, do videos on battles, but I only do them if you request it. So if you want me to do a breakdown and you like this uh, content right here and you want me to do a breakdown, because um, I just honestly, I just started getting back into talking about battling. Because, you know, I got out of it because it was 
it's getting real corny. Like my favorite battler is is B Magic. Was B Magic. You see what I'm saying? Like I love punchers. I like Big K. You know, if you listen to my other videos that I've did on Cassidy and Goods, you'll you'll hear. I love Big K. You know, I like punchers. You know, I love Rum Nitty. I love punchers. You know, a lot of people give uh, Punchline in a bad name, especially back-to-back -back punching, but I feel like the same people who give Punchline in a bad name are the, ex the same exact people who are punching, you know, and who are winning their battles because of the punching that they're doing. You feel me? But at the end of the day, man, this is the last... Oh, at the beginning, like I said at the beginning of the video, Smack said um, he will drop... He would do this video. He would do this battle. Excuse me. Uh, after Born Legacy and Ban Legacy, so and that's in February, which is right now. He said uh, they're in the second part, uh, for what I understand, of Ban Legacy. So after Ban Legacy, he said he's definitely going to consider doing the cast versus goods so that's somewhere around this is february uh this is the second part of band legacy so um somewhere around in the march mid in the march or beginning the middle of uh april we'll see people but uh but i had to do this video for some of my subscribers and a lot of the new people that are listening because i get comments all the time on you know retro could you please, you know, try to find out a date on this battle and keep us posted and do another video. I got y'all people, as you can see. But it's your boy Retro Rob, Battle Chess, signing out. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon. And if you have any type of requests on any other battles and you enjoy this content, please, I ask that you comment in the comment section and let me know what battles do you want me to break down and talk about and give my predictions on again this is battle chess your boy retro rob gone